guess I should have mic. What's up? Please forgive me if my voice sounds like the doo doo boo boo. I was up in my attic doing insulation last night and stuff, and uh, nose running, arms weak, palms are sweating, and mom's spaghetti and other, you know, other things. But, anyhow, you know, the the city. I did idle some yesterday, just trying to get the populations back up and everything after we destroyed the, um, everything. As you can see, it's back. It's good. It's golden. I think I actually added another layer last night, too, just to uh, give us some extra beavers, because we are running still real low on them. But we are back up. We have zero unemployed beavers. It's starting to look nice. starting to look fancy here. Getting work done. We actually are under 2,000 explosives, which is incredible. Because we were over 2,000 explosives for so long. But hey, it was bound to happen sooner or later, right? Someday. I have nothing set to be built there? Okay, that's fair, I guess. That sounds like me. Just explode things and then not build the path in that I need to build there. It does sound like me. Just like here, why don't I have this in? Did it like save before I did things? Like it does not save what I did? Cause like, well I said, it sounds like me, it doesn't actually sound like me. I gotta like look over to get down to where my city center is. Alright. Throw in our staircase. I think if I counted right, this is where our actual yes, this is where our actual path will be. This or I have. So we will have to leave that in below that out too deep when we're done. Which will be unfortunate, but a necessary evil. It will be what it has to be. And we're starting to catch up with trees and lumber and everything, so that's awesome. That is good. That seems like it took forever to happen. Now if we can start getting like some backed up lumber, that'd be even better. Which we're starting to get some full like things of it, so you know. We have a 3,000 science to get our uh, monument, too. Flame of Progress. Just gonna go right there. Aya, aya. Little maple seedlings here. Let's throw in the rest. So many beavers just got to work. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where those one two those two came from. Oh, there was those two up there. Okay, that's about right. We want to get some mature trees to start growing up and producing like their secondary byproduct. That's not just wood too. So we can start getting some you know pine resin, some some food, some some acorns. What are they? Brain? Uh. Yeah, the abs. Some of those things. You know? Uh. And all that stuff. But. I think. What I should do right now. Is bring a path off maybe right here and start 
leveling this down as far out, out as I can go. I think that seems like a fairly decent option. So it kind of looks like I'm not going to be able to hit over here if I don't add in... extra staircase. My goodness, the beaver hordes. But yeah, we need to get full on wood so that we can start like actually getting some grown up trees, some big boy trees, some big old trees. Because while I do want trees cut down, um, for wood primarily, we do want mature trees for their byproducts. And we should have all the, uh, like the setup for all their byproducts to be made, potentially. Should. So let's see, what does everybody want here? Yeah, chestnuts, maple pastries. Campfire and rooftop terraces? Come on. Come on, guys. I know, I know. I know better. I know you've got this. I know you have them. Like, there's so many. There's so, so many. Like there's just, just an abnormal amount. Like look at all these campfires. And you guys are gonna be sitting there telling me you don't have enough and you're unhappy. See, that's better. Okay, that's better. Now, rooftop terraces, we could have a conversation about needing some more of those. Like that, that could be fair. Where I could put some, I have no idea. But like, it could be fair that you guys say you want some. Trying to think of where a good spot for like rooftop terraces would be. Cause like where all can I build paths on top of? Like what all So they gotta be on top of paths. But they gotta be on top of things. I mean, I think I can fit a rooftop terrace in right here. Check it. Check it. Pop, pop, pop. Yo! What's up, lazy moofle? How's your stuff going? How's it going, Hyper Penguin? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the raid. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you.
Now I have to remember where rooftop terraces are because my brain just froze. Uh, there we go. Definitely can't fit in more than one there, but that's a nice spot for one. Hello, hello. That is uh, an absolutely gaudy rooftop terrace. But amazing view for a rooftop terrace. I mean, eh. just the finest of views. I wish you could like lock the camera in view, like a head swivel. Wouldn't that be nice? Those sunflowers are like abnormally large. Not really, so I had to restart. So the new the new town is looking uh, pretty good. Um, but we haven't expanded much outside of the city. Like, we've only gotten the one town done. So it is really good, but it's really tight. I've only done... I've, I've really focused in on this one instead of, like, uh, branching out. I've really, really fine-pointed my work. But... You know, it looks really good, what I've done. Yeah, but it is a very fine area. Unfortunately, um, so I, I'm, tr I'm hoping that the issue with my last build was that I was in experimental mode, but it made my entire game just get to the point where it was unplayable. Rip. Oop, nope, not building those there, because that's going to be wood storage. Build those. Go ahead and put those in. And then these ones will go over to chestnuts. So the last one I had was over a thousand beavers? Yeah, the last one I had was a thousand beavers. Uh, no, it was on normal. I feel like hard, like I've, I've played on hard once, um, and I understand the appeal to hard, but to me, hard mode just means spend more time focusing on water storage. And uh, I like the building aspect of this game, so to me, hard's never been that appealing or fun. So I try not to focus on it too much. I try not to play, I, it just, it's never the appealing part of it to me. But, that's just me. I like, like I said, the building, the building up aspect of it. But yeah, I had a thousand and some beavers, and the game was at a point where, like, it just didn't run. Like, at all. Like, I couldn't even place things unless I paused the game. So, uh, I'm hoping that by restarting on not experimental mode and having cleaned up some settings and stuff that uh, and focusing in on one town at a time making a single town as big as it can possibly be we'll, uh, we'll do a little better this time <clears throat> not be as laggy and uh, completely destroy my town again And that's how we've ended up with this. You know, I mean, there's definitely different ways to go about it. I think, uh, I think I've seen some, like, I think I've seen a lot of people have 
um, I think there's a meta that I've seen kind of develop around some people's playstyle, and I try really hard to not pay attention to the like community boards and stuff because if I do, I'm scared that I'll fall into that like playing as like other people, and I definitely want to play it in my own kind of way without any idea of what other people are doing. And uh, maybe have some unique things that I do that are not common practice because I don't do what other people do. So, yeah, no. I mean... Yep. But that probably leads me to doing a lot of stupid things. Thanks for the follow, follow Happy Penguin. Please forgive my... Um, horrible talking today. Like I said, I said at the beginning of my stream, I was in my attic doing insulation today, yesterday, and uh, everything's clogged in sinusy because of insulation being stuck in my nose. Even though I wore a mask, it's still horrible. Dust is the worst thing in the world. Yeah, no, this game is unique in the aspect that I think... The water, like the way you have to manipulate water, adds a very unique perspective to this game that I just don't think you get in a lot of other games. And the verticality that you can achieve is uh, is relatively unique to city builders. I think between those two things, it makes this a very unique city builder. And I think that's why you get such unique builds and such unique ways of play. I don't know how I never thought about building just all of my power grid over my paths until this build. I don't know why that was never a thing that hit me. Like, just building the windmills over the paths. But that didn't that didn't click until this build. Like, I always had a separate place for power production. And then this build, I was like, why don't I just build pack, like windmills on top of my paths? Yeah, yeah, no, there is no, like, it has to be done this way, or, yeah. Like, I really like City Skylines, but it's very demanding of you. It's like, you must, you have to do it this time. You need City, you need, you know, this type of uh, area, and, you know, now you need more housing, and now you need more selling area, and now you need more... Brain's not working again, but this game just kind of like, hey, if, you know, you run out of food and water, your beavers die. Other than that, good luck, friends. Now I need mods. Man, listen, um... Yeah... So, uh, City Skylines is, is weird because, like, I can play it on my Switch. And I have, like, not the highest end PC, but I have a decent PC. I mean, like, I built my PC. I have, I went to college for computer sciences. Like, my computer is just a wee bit more powerful than a PS5. And for some reason, uh, and I think it's the version I have, maybe. Um, because I have the version for Xbox. Like, I have the Xbox Game Pass version of City Skylines. Won't, because I, I just got it on Game Pass, and it's like, if it's on Game Pass, why, why do anything else? Won't hardly work on my computer at all. But I can play City Skylines on my Switch. Come on, City Skylines. Come on, City Skylines. That's booty sweating, you know it. Oh. 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 
I don't know. Every single game I've ever tried to play with mods, though, uh, I have immediately decided I didn't like it as much. Except for... Um, Ark Survival Evolved. Because Ark with mods was okay for a while. Which I'm getting ready to start another Ark playthrough with the wife and friends. Uh, because we love Ark so much. God, I play so much Ark. I want to add in the rest of these fields and put more food in, but also, like, why? Once I have more cities, I'll be shipping it. I know that, but, like, for now, it's like, do I need it? So we really are finding out exactly how far a city can reach, though. So that's pretty dope. How do I even build this staircase, yo? I guess maybe from this edge they considered it. They counted. I'm trying to build a staircase at the end of every path in case I want to go out here and build like a city someplace. Out in the boonies. All right, uh, we gotta find our next destination. So as always, 17 will get us perfect greens. Or maybe I'm bad at math, but one way or the other, I know 17 is where I've done it before, so we're going 17. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shit, I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Son of a bitch. I keep losing track right there because it, like I can't count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it's going to actually go right here. But I can't quite get up there, so we're going to blow this out. We'll knock out this part of the path, and we will blow this up. I actually don't even know... Does this go out that far even, technically? Yeah, I don't think reach one square outside, but can they reach one square outside at an angle? I guess yes, I mean, obviously yes. The obvious answer is yes. And then we will need to get rid of all these trees, which I think these are trees I planted at one point or another. Seventy. I mean, this one, not this one. This one. There's my city. It comes straight out. So, I I haven't counted it, but um, that's literally straight out the front door and all the way out to the edge. And that is the edge where they would not plant explosives any further. You can't really see it because of the wheat line, but yeah. They, I mean, yeah, it's all right there. Yeah, it'd be nice to sit down like blueprints. Like, have some, like, blueprint la laying in this game would be amazing. If you could just plan out your city. Plan out where explosives are going to go. And even be able to, like, plan out underground would be 
like you don't even necessarily need that but planning out after post explosion what's going to be going down there and like having everything planned out whereas instead of like coming into the game and making like kind of like building your city as you go planning everything out pre I think that would be amazing, and I think that would be something that would be better off maybe not included in the game, but modded to the game, because I can see that definitely being a mod thing. Because that does make the game too easy. I'll be fair to the developers, those kind of things generally make games extremely broke. So I'm assuming this path over here is going to be extremely short. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually don't even know how... Let's see here. Let's blow up that piece right there. We'll put another staircase over here at the sedge. My daughter was at a, uh, like, a fair thing. I don't really know how to describe what she's at. It was with her grandma. And uh, she saw a husky, and we have a husky, and she thought it was our husky, and she lost her mind. So, yeah, one thing I think that made my last one really laggy is I used... Instead of using canals like I am this time, I used uh, the water dumps. And I think those made my last my, my last one very laggy. Yeah, she, my daughter loves our husky. And our, my husky begrudgingly loves my daughter. Like, she acts like she hates my daughter, but she sleeps with my daughter every night. And, like, watches over her. And if she's not sleeping with my daughter, she sleeps in my daughter's closet. Where you at, Midna? Probably upstairs, aren't you? Yeah, she's probably upstairs. Probably upstairs laying on an air conditioning vent because that's what huskies do. Oh, see, that was the level of lag I was getting in normal speed. Like, sometimes I forget I'm in fast forward now. All the storage desire is zero? Really? So... But would they still use the storage? Like, appropriately, I guess? Is what I'm asking? To some degree? So just like that. Did I do that one right? So I don't want to also just like mess up everything. Couldn't see. Oh, yeah, just none. Oop. 
Desired zero, stocks 27. Desired none. Yeah, I mean, I knew that was going to happen while I was doing it, and that's fine. That might also reduce my need for so many haulers, too, I guess. Because I do always by myself just with so many haulers that are just, like, doing busy work and not doing... Anything useful? Listen, uh, I am hoarding a lot of logs in this city because, like, what else am I going to do with all the space? <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at with it. I can do that with most of these storage barns. There's this one that is my um, explosives, and I do want them to move all the explosives there. And I'm hoarding a lot of everything, to be completely fair. So much storage. And I feel like I have some, yeah, I was gonna say I have some large storage here on the river for just in case scenarios. Yeah, listen, um, so like that, so like, just like, get rid of all the desired, except for my explosives one, because like, I want that song bitch full. And yeah, no, I, um, like, when you have the town maxed out in size, what else am I going to do with all this space? Like, I can make water storage over here. <clears throat> instead of tree storage, like instead of tree production and tree storage, but like it might matter later. Golems, that will be a future problem. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like, uh, yeah, no, it's just like, what else am I going to do with the space? Like, I have more space than I have need for things. And I'm maximizing the amount of green land I have by putting all my buildings on the river. The city of dreams. But that just ends up with more beavers, right? So, I mean, like, right now I'm at the point where I, I need to, like, start maximizing their happiness. Um, because I maxed everything else out, basically. But, uh, that's... And, like, I can start shipping all this stuff to other cities, and that's fine, but this city is still going to be just kind of chilling here maxed out. So, you know, it's just, what do you do with the land besides hoard? And I like to think that uh, this is the city of dreams for a beaver. Listen, all I'm saying is if in real life a beaver saw this city, it would shit. It's... Uh... 
fur. Yeah, that's the one I'm going with. It would poop its fur. Uh, they don't really wear pants, so fur. Or it would continue to move on with its life because they probably wouldn't realize that it's for them and they'd just be like, oh look, a human, a human city, I guess stay away from that because scary. Which is probably the more likely scenario out of those two, but like, you know. In my head, that beaver would be very excited. Like, if at a zoo, this was a beaver habitat, I don't even know... I don't even know if, like, PETA would protest. They probably would, because they're PETA. But, like, listen, they shouldn't have. It would be unreasonable of them. They're usually unreasonable, but still. Somebody want like really wanted me when I worked at GameStop. They really wanted me to like stream the PETA Pokemon game, and uh, that game's so wild. The existence of that game is so wild. It still messes with me every day of my life that game exists in general. Mm. So that'll be the max out of that. So I assume that this isn't going any further. Yeah, cool. Forester. Tapper Shack. Cutter. Gather a flag. Also need to make sure that this is where it gets really laggy every time is when I set it to like cutting trees. I think that scanning for cutting down trees also creates lag. I can't like guarantee it, but I've noticed that the more I set for cutting trees, the more laggy it gets. And I think it's something with a scanning process that it uses. Again, I can't guarantee that. I guess we could test it though. Like if we just start really swathing out here, does the game just get laggier as they start scanning for if they can go cut that? I'm gonna have to delete all this later. Like, is it the trees or is it the cutting, like, the cutting selector, though? Like, when they scan that area for cuts. So now if I go back to fast forward, does the game get obviously laggier here shortly? Mm. Just the menus bad? Well, I think part of the problem, which don't quote me on this either, but I, I can't, like, I, I'm fairly certain part of the problem is that, and it's a cool thing that they did. It's cool from, like, a player standpoint, but from game development standpoint, it is kind of rough. Each and every single tree has its own life cycle and growth cycle and percentage and days to growth. So each one of those is its own process for the game to be calculating. And that, that shit adds up. Like that, that'll add up. So like if a tree's at 100%, 100% and it's just sitting there doing nothing, like that won't, that, that's fine. But as trees are growing up, so that's part of why I was thinking to myself, like, if I grow each city one at a time, 
instead of having a bunch of cities growing at the same time, maybe it won't be so bad. Because for the majority of this city, it'll just be idle while I'm building my next city. Yeah, that'll do it. All I'm saying, though, is uh, this is a lot laggier right now than what it was earlier. With all this selected, I'm not saying that that's it, but let's clear it and see. I'm just curious if the, like, the, the menu to set up this scanning process makes it laggy. Like, I'm just curious if this actual scanning system itself is laggy. But also, I know, I know the tree growth will actually make it for sure laggy. Which is why I say, like, I let this game idle a lot, is to try to let tree growth not become a major factor in the game. Um, obviously, right now, it, it is a problem for me. But that's just an unfortunate factor for right now. Let me cut those down. But if you notice, I tried a very precision where I'm cutting down. All right, let's go back to fast forward. <clears throat> yeah, you know, it's another thing that's weird to me too, is I have a program that I run in the background that checks to see like how much of my RAM, my processor, my graphics card I'm using while I'm playing. And it's never even maxing out any of my, any of my stuff. So it is the game itself that can't run its own processes. That's what that's what's causing the lag is the game itself is struggling to process its own information. Like the calculators built into the game and things are bogging themselves down, if you will, before it's actually bogging down my actual computer. So that's always a fun fact. The water physics in this game too are also definitely a big factor. But they're probably not, I mean, they're a big factor. They're probably not that bad. I don't know. I don't know how they programmed it. Again, coming from a computer background, um, I can make guesses of how they have it programming, like programmed in the background. Uh, but I can only make guesses without actually seeing it. And I'm not much I didn't do a lot of programming I'm much more on the hardware side of computers but there is definitely a lot of your hardware getting taken up by every single little plant having its own life cycle that is a lot that is kind of crazy And every beaver having their own life cycle, every like building having its own like things going on, every beaver having its own name, like everything in this game is so very individualized. And uh, it's, it's a lot, it is a lot. Like it's really cool, again, from a player perspective. It's very cool, uh, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to process. So with the need of rooftop terraces being uh, obvious, kind of want to come right here and just like do rooftop terraces behind this instead of having more food because like obviously I don't need that much more food. Um, I think the majority of my food comes from out here in the middle of the lake because what else are you going to do with the water area?
Like, what else are you gonna do with the lake bed besides grow food in it? I can blow it out and have it store more water, but like. We're never really, like, running, running out of water, so. Up here, so take like that. I might try out hard at some point. I might give hard another shot at some point, maybe after this build. Like I said, with hard, I mean. Is the thing that you're talking about to keep going for, though, just, like, storing water? Yeah, I can get that. Um, so for me, I definitely get what you're saying, and I am more in the camp of like the reason I'm letting things go right now. Like, it's not that I don't have anything to do. Like, I want growth. Like, I want to cover the map. So my end goal is just, like, build everything that I possibly can. So for me, hard mode would just be slowing down my goal, if that makes sense. Yeah. I get that, too. Hard makes you expand. See, so yeah, I guess hard would, like, force you to expand because you need to, whereas on normal you can expand because you want to. See, because my goal with this build is more of making the OCD paradise. Um... Which I feel like would be more, ch like, obviously more challenging on, on hard mode. But. I definitely get the appeal of hard mode. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I think you're exactly right. I think that hard mode is, I mean, it's. It's made to make you drive for that goal. I mean, hard mode is basically just longer droughts, though, effectively, right? Like, much longer droughts, much more often. Yeah, which I don't use water wheels anyhow, which is why I like this faction, personally. This is why I prefer playing with them, because you can use the windmills. I find the water wheels to be relatively useless anyhow, because, like, once dry season hits, irregardless of, like, difficulty, it's, it's useless.
I need to come over and check out one of your streams here soon, Moovel. It seems like you're always live, like, right before I go live-ish. I need to try to remember to check it out. To be fair, uh, I'm usually asleep before I go live. If, unless I have my daughter, and then I'm getting her breakfast and feeding her and dealing with her. So it was far less laggy without having uh, that like tree scanner selected all the way throughout up here. I, I don't know if cause and effect actually had to do with one or another, or if it was just chance. Uh, but going through a whole day, uh, it was less laggy. You just remind me of one of my favorite characters from a book. He always does the, heh <laughs> well, you're not going to like this. So that's about as far back as I think I'm going to be able to go. I mean, those are too high. And uh, I doubt if I build up to them, they're going to be worth it based off of looking at that edge. I mean, I guess I could build my paths back to sea, huh? I guess that'd make a lot of sense. I don't know why my brain was just like, no, it's, that's as far back as it goes completely. Now this part over here, yeah, that's, that's as far back as that goes. Like, that edge is just there. I don't know. There's some other games I want to play after I get done with this build. Maybe after they add more content and everything, I'll come back and do a hard mode run. Yeah, nah. It is going to be worth it because... I'm still getting range off of these paths. Maybe not much, but some. Like, I, I want to do another Oxygen Not Included build. Man, I love that game. Oxygen Not Included is so good. No, that's a hard game. That game uh, can be very challenging. I just realized I have 7,000 planks. I mean, it's not nearly enough, but. Oh, yeah, 14,000. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of hoarding everything. It is, it is not just, it is not just locks. It is not just, I, I am, I am hoarding everything. When I build my next city, it is going to be just, just ship everything over to it and, and move on with life. Like, my thoughts for my next city is I want to build the next city just out this way. Probably at the edge of the map right there. And then blow the canal down. And I want to start the city as far over here as I can. 
so that they can kind of build stuff for it, maybe? Probably not really, but it can share some of the resources with this city and ship things over to it, obviously. And then the next city will be at the other end, down here. And then we'll kind of go like, you know, to each point of the map, over here, and then over here, and then we'll go to each corner until we fill the map in. And then we'll dot cities where we need to. But that is my intention with this map. Frankly, we're probably ready for our next city. Honestly, we're probably ready. Like, it's kind of time. Like, this city's pretty good and ready to support a secondary city. I just really want to get this city perfect before we do. So I don't have to come back and look at it and deal with two cities, like, at all. I just want one city focused down, completely done, then move on to the second one. And I fully intend to have, like, one massive canal throughout the map. But even though I'm going to have two separate cities here, I, I want them to kind of feel like one city. Feeding into each other, you know? Like, it's going to feel like this is one city going into each other. And then this city down here, it'll feel like another city going into this one. We won't need nearly as much going on in either city. Like, this city will be able to supply almost all the goods for either one. But, you know. Yeah, it's kind of hard to believe that all of those supplies pretty much come from just, like, this little production area over here. And this stuff on the river. And then just letting my computer run while I'm away. And just having a gross amount of wood at all times to su supply. Like a disgusting amount of wood. Yeah, we need another forester over here. And I think this has maples. So we'll need a tapper shack. And then we'll need two of those. We don't need a actual, like, food collector over here. Am I using that word right? Food collector? Food thing? Food thingy thing? Thingy thingy food food? Food thingy thingy thing food 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 thing? Gatherers? Gatherer flag. Thanks, Charlie. You're welcome, Charlie. Did it do to do boop 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 ba doop ba da da. This one will need a gatherer's flag. Uh, well, maybe not there. And we'll need a tapper shack, though. I really want them to cut down those pines so that I can uh, start laying explosives over there, too. There was one point where I had, like, 5,000 explosives stocked up. I have obviously gone through those. I say, where are they working right now? Unconnected building. Oh, rip. Yeah, now that makes sense. Oh, they've been working on this. That's why they haven't been doing other things. No, 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 no. No, 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 no,
No. No. We're gonna go down some speed here, just to let me delete what I need to. Did we go down slow enough? Did I need to go down slower? All right, now we don't care. Now we're lag lording. Let's go. <laughs> Once night comes, it'll stop. I don't know why it's lag lording so much right now. But boy, is it. We uh we can get rid of some of our uh, food over here. There it goes. At some point to get some actual like. Oh my god, how do we get less rooftop terrace? With all those rooftop terraces? How do we get less happiness with rooftop terrace? This is a nice rooftop terrace. I love this rooftop terrace. You know they gotta love this one, right? They gotta be fighting over this one every night. Like this has this this one has to have like reservations, right? Or beavers are scared of heights. Okay, now they're pretty content with rooftop terrace. Beaver statue's doing all right. If we can shove in some more beaver statues, we will. Let's see, decoration. Scarecrows count beaver statues. And scarecrows are way cooler. Well, now we have to demolish this resource because I want to. We're going down to play since we're getting so much lag right now. By the way, why does Scarecrow count as a beaver statue? Let me know. Isn't that weird? Not a bad idea. I mean, really, we can go down to like 13, probably. I mean, when we have another town, we might need to go back up. Um, the only thing I can see it being a problem is trying to get all of this stuff done. Like, my actual, like, destruction and my mayhem and uh, blowing shit up. Those are the only things that I'm like trying to get actively done. But, yeah, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. As we'd say here in Indiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. But nah. But yeah. Because uh, we're so indecisive. If there's anything I've learned living in, in, in Indiana my entire life is that we can't make up our minds about anything. There's nothing. Like, God forbid you ask somebody from Indiana what they want to eat for dinner. That's absolute mayhem. I mean, listen, why, like, is it, 
It's not out of range. Uh, nah. Nah, we have that weather here, too. Yeah, nah. Yeah. Yeah, but nah. We still have that weather here. Like, our weather is... Like, we always have a saying here, like, if you don't like the weather in Indiana, just wait. It's like like a catchphrase. Like, our weathermen say it sometimes. Like, eh, if you don't like the weather today, just wait. Oh, wait, no. Uh, the best saying about the weather in Indiana always is like... Like, during the summer, it's always like... Oh, you know, it wouldn't be so bad outside if uh, it wasn't for the humidity. And it's like, dude, you live in Indiana, stop. It's not a swamp, calm down. Or uh, during the winter, it's like, oh, it wouldn't be so cold if it wasn't for the wind. It's like, dude, it's negative, negative 10. Shut up. It's cold. It's just cold. This is just, it's just cold out. Stop. Just say it's cold. Just say it sucks here year round. It's either, it's either sweating balls in the summer or freezing nuts in the winter. Like it's just, it just sucks here. Except for two, like four months out of the year, which is fall and spring, which are lovely seasons. And like the 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 longer time goes on, it seems like the more chaotic our our weather gets. It's like our summer and winters are just becoming more and more just chaotic. Like we just have hot out of nowhere in the winter and cold out of nowhere during the summer. Like we had a uh, we had like a ninety degree weather in our like early parts of spring this year, and then like a week later it was thirty. It was like how, how? why why does the weather want to hurt me so bad? Man, my wife was miserable. Yeah, my wife can't handle the weather. I wonder I wonder if our indecisiveness here is based off of our weather. If we're we like mentally we're like, ah, the weather can't decide what it's doing, I can't decide what I'm doing. <clears throat> Like, seriously, why are they not cutting down those trees, though? But, like, like for real, though. Mm, priority on it, though? Normal priority? I'm trying to think like I don't even have a carousel yet. I need to get a carousel. Doesn't a carousel take metal? It does. I don't have metal yet. So carousel's gonna have to wait. Carousel's gonna have to wait. Because I have metal, but I don't have much metal. Now mm, some more mud baths? We could do that. We do some more mud baths. They have to be built ooh, they can be built on ground. What's up? We could pop in some mud bass right there. But they take power. So I need them up here by my power grid. Hmm. 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 I'm kind of thinking of them having like a row of them right there.
With that, though, I do want to uh, go back to increasing food production over here. I'm actually going to get off here myself after I probably set this up. I'm uh, going to hop off. So have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you. Enjoy feeding the kiddos. I definitely know how that goes. May they make minimal amounts of mess. I don't know why I like doing it in rows. Um, I just think it looks satisfying. And that's it. That's my only my only reason. And I'm going backwards right now and it keeps messing up my brain. Planting's lagging out. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, it's getting a little laggy. Probably all the trees. It is probably the trees. I'm gonna be honest, I think it, I think it is the trees. Once they hit the end of their workday, though, it chills. We're only at 288 beavers, though. Like, that's not a lot of beavers. We're just gonna get rid of that because we're going to build our staircase on it. If it's going to exist there, we're going to use it. Get rid of these. This is something that we uh, don't need just sitting back here taking up space. So do you use canals in your builds or do you use like water dumps? Or do you do a whole different thing than either of the two things I just said? You have to water dump? That sounds right. Could you combine the two thoughts though? Like having canals for the periods of like the short periods of wet because what I have found is that canals make waters last longer like when you dam up since there is so much more water since you have so many canals running out it acts as more water reservoir so like well the canals will dry up it'll increase the time you have water
Dude, those machine pumps, they're so expensive. And they take so much work to set up. I had, like, three of them in my last build. And they were nightmares. But, I can see you like doing canals and then having water dump systems as well. What about canals with like dams at the end of it? So when the flood comes in, It'll overflow the dams and fill the canal, and the dams will hold the water back from leaving the canal. So you have, like, that there, and then have a water dump to f keep some water coming in, I guess? I don't know. I was trying to think of a way to not have to use water dumps the entire time. Because, like, if, like, six deep, I'm saying, like, looking at this, even if you did these six deep, you wouldn't have massive swaths of green like what I've got going right now all the time. But if you put, like, a dam right there, and when this got full, it overflowed it. The water would only go out, like, the level of the dam. Which, I don't know, I haven't played in hard, like, so I don't know how bad it would get or if it would work in any way. I'm just saying, like, to some degree, with not having pumps on it or anything, it would just kind of, like, like, not having water pumped out, just the slow evaporation over time. It would, uh, it would do something... Yeah. Like, do you not even get enough to fill up to go over the dam? Or... I gotcha. Like, is there not, like, actual, like, full-fledged filling times, like where you would have a full river full. Yeah, I mean, like, is there, like, yeah, wet season? Like, you would have wet seasons, though, so, like, Like, how many days are dry seasons? Like, so when you have wet season and everything's full, how long are, like, longer dry seasons? Like, how long are they? Because I think I had a dry season that was, like, 20 days?
Hold on just a second. Be right back. Gotta take this. Sorry about that. It was my doctor's office. Oh, uh, calendar, 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 calendar. They had to reschedule my doctor's appointment. I'm dying. Not really. Twenty-eight dry, five wet, rain dry. I don't know. I'd have to try it out. I mean, twenty-eight dry. It is it's, it's a long time. It is a long time to be dry. I guess I went back one further than I needed to. Um, five wet though. I don't know. You're going to want to dig out a lot of water storage. So yeah, I mean, you're probably filling up a lot. I mean, depending on the map you're on, because like, If you're on, like, Helix, that map takes so long for water to come down to you, because that map just sucks. This map, not so bad, because the river's shorter. Um, but... Yeah, this is planes. Helix is the one that uh, just like I had to like stop playing because I got so laggy on. Yes, the river is very shallow on this one. Helix, you can make a very deep river. Uh, But, I, I don't know. I think you could make canals work to some degree if you dug them deep enough and you put up the right kind of exit and enter plan for the water. I don't think they would be perfect because, yeah, I think they would dry out. I don't think there's a way around the fact that they would dry out. But I think they would be effective for short-term water storage solution. Um, you would probably just have to have some kind of backup for us before. I don't know, I would have to do it. I would have to do it. Do it and see. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. That is, yeah. That's gonna be one of the nice things about that update is that uh, water is not gonna be as big of a deal.
I mean, like, water is still going to be a massive deal, but you can get away with having less water. Don't these take like treated planks? Yeah, treated planks. I have treated planks. Nice. So hopefully this takes care of their mud baths desires. They take 50 power each. I can't really tell how much power I have right now because, you know, my power grid's down. Yeah, I like the Lido's with him just like swimming around there. I love it how they like need a swimming spot when they could just like. Go chill in the river, like go chill in the water, like like you guys need a pool, like come on guys, come on. I can understand needing a mud bath. All right, I can understand needing a mud bath. But a pool, guys, guys. How popular is that? Fairly popular. That's a really good time, but we should work on your tail stroke. Stop. But the Lido has a deck chair. All right, all right, okay. You know, I concur. And it has a ladder. Um. But still. Nobody's ever explained to me how they get water out of these things when it floods. Because uh, I've had quite a few times where these things have flooded over. I love the housing complex. This is like the worst apartment situation ever. <laughs> Like, I feel like the worst beaver landlord ever. And no one explains how they get electricity. Do you think they burn something? They keep the lights on all night. Hashtag confirm beavers don't sleep. Oh, what are you lazy little shits doing? Huh? Huh? Lazy beavers. Alright. Oh, I am gonna call it. We do have enough people I can go do a raid real quick. I would kind of feel bad if I didn't, honestly. So, uh, probably should. Probably should. So let's go find somebody. But as far as uh, my YouTube recording people, 
Uh, much love. Thanks for watching. And hit the buttons. We'll see those guys next time. Bye.